Hi, I'm Talia from The Critics. Um, the documentary that I watched for the Durban International Film Festival 2016 this evening was entitled Walls. Um, the documentary explains uh, the consequences of having such strict border control uh, across the world, but it focuses on the borders between USA and uh, Mexico, uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa, and Morocco and Spain. Um, overall, I enjoyed the documentary. It was quite sad um, to see how the so-called border jumpers' uh, lives are affected by the border control. Uh, you were given a bit of a one-sided perspective, but both sides were considered, as in the side of the government in the country where the border jumper wants to cross over into, as well as uh, a detailed account of uh, what the border cross border jumper goes through when they are attempting to cross a border illegally. Um, the message of this film was basically that walls are the same as wars and they cause as much death and destruction as a war does. Um, and the ideal situation would be for there to be no walls and for there to be, you know, everyone to be able to live together and cross into whichever country they wish. Um, I didn't fully agree with that. I don't agree with that because I think a concept like state sovereignty is important. And if there were to be no borders, that would mean that a system like capitalism would have to just fall on its face, which might uh, take take a long time in, in today's world. Um, it, it seemed like a bit of an idealistic perspective for me, but what I did enjoy was that the camera followed people actually crossing the border, which was really interesting and sad because, I mean, uh, me being from South Africa, uh, where people generally from Zimbabwe cross over into illegally, um, we are, the, the image of these border jumpers that we are given in the media, etc., is that they are villainous and, you know, they are criminals, all of them are criminals, etc. But that's definitely not the case. I mean, and this, this documentary definitely showed that, that, you know, they're just people who want a better life. Um, for example, they want to get to their children or they want their children to have a better life. Um, and the way that it was filmed as well was really interesting. It sort of used the concept of lines and borders and walls within the, the actual filming of it as well. And uh, lots of images were put to us to explain the concept that borders are the same everywhere across the world, which also translated into human beings are the same everywhere across the world. We're all part of the human race and why uh, why are some treated differently from others, you know? Um, which, that was an interesting concept, but at the same time, I still think that it was a bit of an idealistic view um, of the world, because borders are necessary. Um, because of capitalism and because of state sovereignty, governments will not just open up and, and let, let, you know, everyone cross into each other's countries. Um, although that would be amazing, that would be the perfect world. Um, the perspective that I enjoyed the most was from a man in the USA who was neutral on the political uh, aspect of the border jumpers and uh, as well as of the governments. He, he didn't give an opinion either way, but he would go out and provide water. He would just leave bottles of drinking water um, at, at the places where he knew that uh, Mexican uh, people were crossing illegally and he just kept saying you know I don't care why they're there I know that it's illegal but I, they don't deserve to die out here in the desert just because they're doing something that the government tells us is illegal um, which I thought was a really I mean it's an amazing thing that he's doing uh, and you really the documentary showed that you know not all of these people are are, are criminals they really are just people like the rest of us and it's, it's something that I think politicians should actually watch because it just shows you how 
we're all trying to keep ourselves intact and wanting our country to become a superpower, whichever country you're in. But at the end of the day, people are people. Um, and yeah, it, it was quite uh, a humbling one to watch. Being on the South African side, um, I really do wish that the media wouldn't portray uh, border jumpers, whether they're from Zim or wherever, um, as, you know, villainous and, and criminal. Uh, because these people are exploited. I've seen this in this documentary as well as in the film Turbulences, which I watched earlier the, uh, on last week Saturday, where they, the people who are trying to cross the border illegally are abused, manipulated, exploited, raped, all of this um, to, by, by the people who, who tell them they can help them um, cross the border illegally. It's just really, really sad, really sad to see. Um, and I think the the plight of these people needs to be, you know, published more and awareness needs to be created. So this type of documentary is definitely necessary. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. Uh, and I wish that the world could be as it asked for there. Uh, and human beings, we're all the same wherever we are, uh, as well as our borders. We all want to keep it intact, but it doesn't always happen. And uh, the main uh, point of the film was, no matter how many borders you put up, people are still going to cross. And the more walls you put up, it just makes people more curious to see what's on the other side. So that was quite an interesting perspective. Um, the documentary is showing again at uh, Gateway on the 26th at half past one in the afternoon, so you can check it out there. Um, if you enjoyed this review, you can click like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on our social media, which is uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And uh, thank you to the Durban International Film Festival 2016 for allowing us to cover and review some of your films. Uh, I'm Talia, and this has been my review of Walls for the Durban International Film Festival 2016.